Hey guys, Morgan coming to you with another video. This one is a introduction, first look, install, mini kind of review sort of video. Anyway, I got a new part for the 300XC <laughs> and I'm excited about it. Uh, if you guys have been watching long, you know that I've been using the stock skid plate. Uh, this is a stock KTM skid plate. I had to adapt a uh, beaver tail onto it. Um, not so much for protection of the linkage because I've got a linkage guard on there, but more for uh, letting it slide over things because this thing's like a boat anchor hanging down underneath these KTMs. Uh, but it's been working great. It's been good. But I'm pretty excited about what I got here to show you. Boom! The folks at Rocky Mountain ATV MC have come up with this, the new Tusk Severe Impact Skid Plate. Uh, this is an awful lot like the TM, SXS, all that stuff. This thing is absolutely burly though you can see how freaking thick that is uh it is super cool obviously it's got the linkage guard built in looks like it's like made to fit really well we're going to find out here today we're going to do an install on this thing right now uh, and find out how this thing actually fits so let's get this other skid plate off and we'll take start taking a look at this one yes i've got the uh air filter off because i'm cleaning it because the brap and blast is tomorrow we're gonna be shooting shotguns at the house and then riding dirt bikes at Peach Valley. So that is drying in the sun right now. So uh, yeah, let me grab an eight. Let's yank this other skid plate off. So one of the things guys that I really like about the stock skid plate is how easy it mounts up. So really hopeful that this other one is easy too. That is really nice. Now let's hold this thing up here and see just kind of how it fits. All right, so far, I like that a lot. A um, little more protection here, way more protection on the other side. We'll take a look at that once I get it mounted up. Um, seems pretty good so far, so let's grab the hardware. So it is UHMW dirt bike skid plate. Uh, lots of parts uh, here. Uh, hopefully it's kind of like a one-time install and then it's easy to get on and off, but we're gonna find out. Uh, so it says every bolt should have thread locker applied. It gives us some thread locker, but we're gonna use our stuck nuts because I don't like the ones I gave us. We're gonna have to talk to Rocky Mountain about that. In fact, um, I sent one message. We're gonna see if we can't get them to start carrying this stuff. Uh, let's see. So this is the front mounting bracket and it looks like it just goes on which is kind of cool um and should hopefully stay there uh I'll, like i said i'll show you how this goes uh here in just a second guys let me show you the first thing i'm noticing um just on my bike i mean probably all the other ones too as you can see how this is the cable for the starter how this is kind of getting hung up under there so we're going to clip that uh, zip tie So now we can move this up and down as much as we need and yeah, I did just clean this dumb thing and it's already dirty. So hang on <laughs> All right guys, so we got that uh, Loosely mounted so it moves. Uh, we're gonna tighten that down eventually so that it kind of just stays in place But right now got it loosely mounted rear mounting bracket this little lip goes forward more stuck nuts and these holes are countersunk It's always a concern with uh, aftermarket stuff as to whether or not things are going to fit. Uh, and when they do, I'm usually very, very happy with the product. Uh, now, I don't know if this was made in China. I'm sure everybody's going to yell that it was. But I, uh, I don't know. Rocky Mountain actually has a full manufacturing facility there in Utah. Like a legit manufacturer. They can make a lot of stuff. My guess is they probably make this. 
because uh, what happens, I was talking to them, is a lot of times they build the things there until the demand gets so high that they can't keep up and then they'll outsource. So I'll find out hopefully before the end of this video whether or not this was outsourced. Um, but man, just the quality, it doesn't look like it. It looks really, really good. All right, next we're going to take these 10 millimeter headed bolts. I'm gonna put this up and there's holes back here. That lines up good. We're gonna put those in there. We're not Loctiting that because this is how you're gonna get the thing back off if you need to. Um, and this is where we might have to come on and off a few times to uh, figure out exactly where the front bracket is or front bracket needs to go. All right, it's super close. All right, I think that is gonna get it. So now I'm gonna take this back off. All right, now I'm gonna tighten down the bracket. I'll try not to move it. I might have to, I may have to do this again because I just moved it a little bit. See, <clears throat> looks, let's see, I'm going to go ahead and bolt it up again. I want to make sure I get it right in the right spot. All right, come and take a look at this. So what I'm trying to do is make sure those holes are right in the middle of those big holes. And they actually look really good. So I'm going to take this back off really tighten down those pinch bolts that hold that thing there. Uh, and then I know now it's in the right spot and then it'll be easy to bolt this thing on. So actually this is gonna be just as easy to remove as the stock one, maybe even a little bit easier. All right, now we're gonna tighten these things down for good. And since they got stuck nuts on them, they should stay tight, no problem. There we go. And I'm still not gonna reef down on these quite yet because I wanna make sure I get the other um, bolts or bolts and spacers. I'll show you how it looks. So come with these really nice aluminum spacers to sit down in those holes and then these eight mil bolts to go in. Uh, so you can see, there we go. Nice uh, spacers, bolts fit really good. Then you come back, guys, this thing fits really well against the frame. I like the fact that it's just these two bolts and those two bolts, the whole thing is on there. The uh, linkage guard is really nice and burly. The whole thing is really streamlined. I like that a lot. Uh, like I said earlier, nice protection here. I'm gonna come over here, check this out. Really good protection for the water pump. Obviously it's plastic, it still moves, but it's uh, definitely super strong and it hits the bolt on the uh, clamp for the uh, water pump first, so, or for the hose first. So that is really, really nice, guys. I don't know where it's built. I don't think it's China. <laughs> that thing is... Honestly, it seems way too nice to be made in China. Um, yeah, massive thank you to Rocky Mountain ATV MC for that. Guys, I will put a link in the description for this uh, skid plate. You guys can buy one. If you buy one using my link, it helps us out. It also helps you out because you get your Rocky Mountain cash. You get free shipping at 75 bucks or whatever it is. Um, yeah, guys, that thing's awesome. Uh, I also really like my second choice would be uh, Seahorn Extreme Slide Plates, so SXS Slide Plates. John Seahorn is the man. He also builds amazing skid plates. I think he makes skid plates for more models than Tusk does right now. Uh, he's got everything covered, which is super cool, even the Telarias and uh, uh, 
Suron. So um, check him out, Seahorn Extreme Slide Plate. Also check out the Tusk Slide Plate. Like I said, there'll be a link in the description. This thing's burly, guys. I really like it a lot. Thanks a lot. We'll see you on the next one.